Today's video is the most special video on my channel because today I am going to share my English speaking journey with all of you. This is a topic that you have been requesting me to make a video on from a very very long time but I have been preserving this topic to make a video on later and I just thought this is the right time for me to talk about it. So in this video I am just going to share everything that I have experienced in my journey and how it all started. So without any further ado let's get into the video. So before I tell you something about my English speaking journey I want to tell you guys something about my own self. My name is Ramala Sirisha but people usually call me Siri and that's why I wanted you guys as well to call me Siri. So my native place is Kamam which is a district in Telangana state and we shifted to a place called Sadasiv Pet when I was 1 year old and that's where uh, I spent my entire childhood. So my mom used to work as a primary teacher in the same school in which I used to study. So of course I come from an English medium school and it was actually one of the best schools I've studied in the village that I was living in. All right. So I was very good at education because my mom always used to tell me that you know education is very very important and my father used to be very strict when it comes to education and me and my brother both of us used to be very dedicated when it comes to education. So that's how uh, our life was going that's how everything was going of course i was studying in an english medium school but we never used to speak in english in our school be it with our friends be it with our teachers we never used to speak in english because of which of course there was no proper environment for me to learn how to speak in english and one more thing is that i never knew the kind of importance english has i think when i was in 8th or 9th standard um it was independence day okay so our teachers they asked me to deliver a speech on the stage so they gave me a script uh, which is in english a page full of script to study and to just by heart it so i tried my best to do that because that was my first time giving a speech on the stage standing in front of almost 500 people now i tried my best to remember everything possible even though i didn't know any meaning of whatever is written in the paper i tried to do my best the next day when i had to deliver the speech i could not i could not deliver the speech because that was my first time speaking something out in english especially in front of all those people my legs were shivering my hands were filled with sweat my eyes were filled with tears and what else can i expect and it was completely uh, a disappointing situation for all my teachers they were telling me that siri we were expecting that you would deliver a brilliant speech because you were very good at education we were expecting that you would deliver the speech very well as well but we did not expect this from you you completely disappointed us what is this i mean i did not understand anything till then i was not speaking even a word out in english with my friends or my teachers suddenly if i was given a page full of speech and if i was asked to deliver that speech in front of all those people how can i even do that so all of them they just shouted at me in front of almost 200 people and of course that still stayed in my heart i could remember that so distinctly that i i can recall it even now maybe people who shouted at me at that point of time could have forget that but i don't i still remember that so distinctly i think that's when i kind of realized that you know english is very important people are giving so much of importance to english that means it really has some kind of importance maybe i need to focus on english at least from now that's what a little bit of thought about english has started when i was in 8th or 9th standard but that motivation was there only for one or two days the third day again i started to speak in my own mother tongue with my friends with my family and everybody so that's how i completed my 10th i was very good at writing reading english i was very good at understanding english as well if somebody comes up to me and speaks with me in english i was very well able to understand what they are speaking 
Now, because I was able to understand what they are speaking, I used to assume that I know English. I used to assume that okay, now I'm able to understand what they are saying. That means I know English, right? But later, I have realized that understanding is quite different from speaking. They both are not same. So after completing my tenth standard over there, I scored really well in my tenth standard, and I was like, I English, I know everything. I was in that kind of that kind of state of mind at that point of time, but we had to shift to Hyderabad for my further studies and my brother's further studies. So we shifted to Hyderabad. So suddenly, when you shift to a city, you are of course going to feel a lot nervous about yourself. You are of course going to feel a lot insecure about your own self. So when I joined my eleventh standard. in a college and that college is a very good college and i really learned a lot from that college which is loyal academy junior college which is in suchitra uh, people who are from hyderabad would know that college so that's where i've completed my 11th and 12th standard and i still remember my first day of college where we had to talk about our own selves in english because most of the people in that college used to speak in english okay so we had to describe our thoughts we had to introduce ourselves to our class in english i had literally bunch of thoughts in my mind but i could not deliver even one single thought because everybody else was speaking flawless english looking at all of them i was feeling lot insecure about myself i was like if they are delivering such flawless speech can i even match them even 1% that's what i was thinking and after that i did not even raise my hand in any of the classes because of the insecurities i had because i was never confident about the way i used to look i was never confident about the way i used to speak i was a very underconfident student i was that one student in the class where people wouldn't even know that there is a person called siri in this class exist i was that kind of a person and that's how my entire 11th and 12th just passed that's it that's how it it has been and i used to just silently quietly go to college come back and study whatever is there and that's it that's what it all used to be i think when i was in my 12th um, that's when covid has come in march 2020 that's when covid has come and that's when lockdown was there so we had to stay in our uh, native place we got stuck in our native place so we had to stay there at least for 4 5 months because of lockdown okay all of our family members uh, we had to stay there so when we were staying there uh, online classes were going on and everything was good everything was fine i think that's when uh, one of our relatives uh, they came up to me and said that siri will you do me a help i said yes why not uh, so that person asked me that you know i have uh, a business deal that i need to talk to somebody but i do not know how to communicate with that person properly because that person is speaking in english so will you help me to communicate with that person so that i can tell you what all i need to convey to that person you exactly translate that in english and talk to that person i was like okay i'll at least try <clears throat> in my mind i was very confident that I knew the fact that I do not know a lot of English. I was able to understand everything, but I do not know a lot of English. That I knew. So that person hand over the phone to me and said that you know talk to that person in English. The person who was on the phone was completely speaking in English. I was able to I was able to understand every single word that was spoken by that person, but I was not able to reply anything back. and my mother was sitting right there my mother was literally sitting right there and i could not deliver any kind of sentences to that person and i don't know what happened to that business deal later but my mother was with a lot of guilt that she she just looked at me i still i still remember that look so distinctly she just looked at me and she was shocked to know that siri doesn't know english all these years she was assuming that siri knows english siri knows how to speak in english fluently because siri studied in an english medium school so there is no point of not knowing english right so that was my mother was assuming about me and one 
thing I really felt bad about was that she started to question her own self that you know did I do anything less for my kids that I I worked really hard my parents worked really hard for us to sustain in that school so my mother started to question her own self that did I do anything less for my kids why they are not able to speak in english i worked really hard then why are they not able to speak in english because my mom she did not come from an english medium school she know the exact kind of struggles uh, when it comes to communication or when it comes to english fluency so she wanted us to be at a better position in our life she wanted us to be fluent in english because she knew the fact that english is that one basic thing which can help you to survive better so she wanted me and my brother to be fluent in english that was the basic thing my mother was expecting from both of us if we are not able to fulfill that i'm not able to find any meaning in my entire education journey right so that day i still remember that maybe uh, she felt really sad that we are not able to speak in english she was like if i am not able to speak in english if at least my kids should be able to speak in english at least they need to have a good future so that's what she was thinking and i could not take it i felt really bad about my own self that what was i doing all these years what what is the meaning of me studying so well in all the subjects without even knowing this basic thing i started to question my own self i think that's when i have taken this decision that no matter what i will give myself at least one year i'll start my practice today and maybe after one year i should be able to speak in english that's what i've decided for myself and one thing with me is that i'm a very stubborn person i'm very stubborn when it comes to making decisions happen so I tried my best to practice every single day without fail and that's how i started my practice towards speaking in english at that point of time when i when i started my practice towards english i did not have a mobile phone i did not have any kind of access to tv to watch some english content as well nothing nothing was there all i could find was a uh, few books few story books which were of my cousins i just borrowed them and i started to read them again and again and again almost for four months i just kept reading those story books and that's it so i gained a little bit of confidence about my own self that okay if i practice maybe some day i will be able to speak in english so that was my only goal and after the lockdown was over we came to hyderabad and when we came to hyderabad uh, my mom and dad did a new phone for me and i can't tell you how happy i was when i got my phone because now i can watch a lot of english content now i can watch everything that i want to in order to improve my english so that was the kind of joy it, i had at that point of time and i started to watch so much of english content that i used to even dream about english the only thing my mind used to have was english i was so dedicated that i used to not think about anything else except english because i did not have any kind of distraction i was not on social media so i had no distraction and i did not have a lot of friends so all i used to have is myself so i used to think a lot about english i used to speak with my own self because i did not have any one to speak in english with i did not have friends with whom i can speak in english i used to not speak in english with my family members even till today we speak in telugu in our family so i did not have any one all i had was was the phone and just myself i used to watch a lot of english content i used to google uh, a lot of english related stuff and i learned a lot like that and that's how the journey has been that's how uh, that's what i have done for almost an year and after an year i was able to observe a lot of differences in myself when i started my english practice all i knew were those basic sentences like hi how are you i'm good but when i started my practice and when i went through all that practice by the end of one year i was able to at least speak out i was able to answer a few questions in english i was less hesitant to speak in english all right and i think in 
I downloaded this app called Ace Fluency. This is not a sponsored video. Whatever I have followed in my journey, that's what I'm telling you. So I have downloaded this app called Ace Fluency, and I almost used that app for nine months straight. Every single day for 25 minutes, I used to use that app. For nine months, I used that app. Through that app, I got to know how to speak to strangers. Of course, when I first downloaded that app, I still remember I was so nervous to speak to strangers. But of course, I knew the fact that if I don't speak out, I am not going to be fluent in English. My goal was to be fluent in English. Whatever the result is going to be, keep it, keep that aside. But at least now I need to practice because practice is going to make you. a lot perfect and practice is going to bring you the results that you have desired for so if i don't cup that courage and speak to strangers when am i going to be fluent in english that's what i have decided for myself and i started to speak on that app and i have seen great improvement in myself i learned how to speak to strangers i learned how to speak on different kind of topics learned a lot of uh, phone etiquettes i learned a lot of different phrases from people because people who are on that app are also learners so you get to learn from them as well that's how i have used uh, that app for almost 9 months and i was able to speak in english very well by the end of those 9 months because that was not the only practice i was doing apart from that i used to try and read books i used to maintain a journal where i used to write down how my day went so i used to practice writing i used to practice reading speaking and also listening and i used to speak with my own self every single day and i used to shoot videos of my own self speaking in english on some random topics this is what i have done for almost 2 years this is what i have done so i started my journey in 2020 and by 2022 i was able to speak in good english i was able to answer everything in english when i joined my graduation i was able to gather that courage i was not hesitant to speak in english if i had any thoughts in my mind i could raise my hand and speak out without any kind of hesitation this journey is so beautiful that i could not have asked for more this journey has taught me so many things not only english it it taught me a lot about myself I never believed in my capabilities. I always used to think that I am lazy. I always used to think that I am uh, always someone who procrastinates a lot. But this journey has taught me that I am stubborn. I am dedicated. I am consistent. If I decide on doing something, I will do it no matter what. I have learned that I am not a person who complains a lot. So every single video that you watch on this channel. is completely based on my personal experience everything that i've learned in those span of 2 years is something that i always try to share with all of you when it comes to consistency when it comes to dedication if i'm telling you all that stuff that means they actually helped me to be where i am today even today i don't consider myself to be a fluent english speaker but I consider myself to be a person who expresses thoughts in English properly because that's what I have desired for and today when I look at my mother's smile every time she watches my video she watches every single video of mine and she reviews my videos so she watches every single video of mine and I feel it this journey was absolutely worth it every single day I used to practice without fail and i don't even remember one day where i didn't practice for those two years my mind was completely filled with english nothing else and i didn't even know how dedicated i was at that point of time now when i look back i myself feel so surprised that how i was so dedicated how i was so consistent and i think it was all about the goal that you have it's all about the hunger that you have if you truly want to learn how to speak in this language you're of course going to learn you will face a lot of issues i used to face a lot of issues because it's not my mother tongue i don't have a proper environment to speak in english with i don't have a partner to speak in english with was my mobile phone that's it 
so i had to make the best use out of everything that i have and that journey has taught me to not to complain all the time that journey has taught me to solve your problems on your own you're not supposed to depend on any person to solve your own problems that journey has taught me a lot of lessons in my life not only english it taught me beyond english and i'm so grateful for that journey i have no regrets and i have nothing against my school i have nothing against my college everybody taught me everything to their best and everything in life happens for a reason and i just always cherish that journey and that journey is never ending even now every single day i always carry this intention that i should learn and i should learn and starting this youtube channel was never a part of my wildest dreams i never thought that i will have a youtube channel where i'll be telling people how to speak in english that was never in my thoughts but it just happened it just happened like that when i just think about my own self where i could not speak in english when i think about myself now i know how much work how much hard work how much dedication has gone into that process and i completely enjoyed that process every single technique that i teach on this channel is completely based on my personal experience i used to discover my own techniques i used to discover a lot of new ways to practice english everything i used to do on my own self because when you don't have a lot of resources what would you do you of course cannot complain you of course got to use everything that you have because that's what my mom always used to teach me and that helped me a lot to be consistent so yes this is my journey of english speaking yes you got to be consistent no matter what i know i, I sound boring when i say all this but when you look back your journey should be worth it when you look back every single day of your practice should be memorable every single day of your practice should be worth it my this journey is so close to my heart that i could not have asked for anything more and that just makes me feel so happy that just makes me feel that that journey was all worth it those two years of hard work was all worth it there were a lot of ups and downs in in that journey of two years because i had to start everything from scratch all i knew when i started was to read and write in english but i did not know how to speak in english but now when i look at myself i am able to deliver my thoughts in english one important lesson this journey has taught me is that it's actually possible to achieve what you have desired for it's actually possible by putting your hard work it's actually possible by putting your dedication and your consistency to achieve whatever you want to this, that's what this journey has taught me few people could be thinking that why is she giving so much of importance to english it it's just a small thing it's just a language when you come from a middle class family speaking in english is actually a very big deal people who understand it understand it people who are from middle class families they will understand whatever i'm trying to tell you they will be able to connect or relate to what i'm telling you today so for them speaking in english means a lot because my parents they did not come from an english medium school so they know the exact struggles that they have faced because of lack of communication because of lack of english fluency so for them uh, me speaking in english mattered a lot so yes it matters a lot for me as well today i think uh, learning how to speak in english is one of the best decisions that i have taken in my life and i have no regrets about it i completely enjoyed that process i completely enjoyed everything that i've gone through because everything has taught me something be it ups be it downs everything taught me something so that's what i wanted to talk about in today's video if you are somebody who is willing to speak in english who is willing to learn how to speak in english i think now it's your time that you work hard and be dedicated towards your practice and you have a lot of resources in your hands today so please make the best use out of them i am literally telling you that you can also some day start your own youtube channel and start speaking in english or start 
people how to speak in English. So please don't give up. Do not even get this thought in your mind that okay, I'm practicing for this long. Can I actually be fluent in English? Should I give up? Do not let these thoughts affect you in any kind of way. And one common question people always ask me. is that uh, city how long did you take to be fluent in english it took me 2 years to be fluent in english to be able to express my thoughts properly in english in those 2 years i did not miss out even on one single day that i can definitely tell you it took me 2 years of dedication 2 years of hard work and 2 years of consistency so for you it could be more it could be less but all you have to do is to stick to your practice no matter what and please do believe in yourself and in this process do not try to depend on external factors a lot try to make yourself stronger try to depend on your own self when it comes to practice do not try to give excuses when you when you keep giving excuses it's not possible to be fluent in english that's what this journey has taught me and this journey is so special to me this video itself is so special to me that it made me a lot nostalgic and yes this is all about my journey i can just go on and on and on talking about my journey but i would like to end this video here i hope you guys enjoyed this video if i can do it you guys can too who am i i am one of you so you can do that too If you are aspiring to be fluent in English please go ahead do not have any kind of second thoughts just go ahead and do it so yes that is it for the video please do let me know in the comment section how did you like the video i will see you guys very soon till then you take care i will see you soon bye